Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So after updating your Windows 11 to version 2 for H2, if the sound is not working on your Windows 11 computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So the first step is to check the volume levels and volume mixture. So on the bottom right, you can see the speaker icon, click on it and then make sure sound is set to high over here and then make a right click on the speaker icon and then click on open volume mixture. Now over here, uh, find your application or browser uh, where you are actually uh, checking the sound. So make sure this is set to 100. Now the next step is to select the right audio device in sound settings. So open Windows 11 settings and then go to system and then click on sound and make sure you have the right audio device selected. So if you're using headphone, make sure the right headphone is selected. Now, whichever audio device you're using, make sure that particular audio device is selected over here. Now, still you're facing the problem then, disable headphone in recording tab in sound control panel. So type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on hardware and sound. Now click on sound. Now this will open sound control panel. Now go to the recording tab and then select your headphone or audio device over here and then make a right click and then disable it. So disable your headphone or audio device in recording tab and then click on apply, click on OK and then check the sound. Now the next step is to set sound sample rate to 48 or 44,000 hertz in sound control panel. So again type in control panel in Windows search box and then open control panel. Hardware and sound then click on sound. Now select your headphone or your speaker. Select your speaker. Select the right speaker and then once you select it make a right click and then select properties or once you select it select click on properties on the bottom and then go to advanced tab and over here you can select the lowest one that is the the one at the bottom you can try 24 bit 48 thousand hertz or you can even try 16 bit 48 thousand hertz or you can try 24 bit 44 44 100 thousand hertz or 44 thousand 100 hertz so try different sample rate and then apply and then click on ok and then check the sound now the next step is to disconnect controller so if you if you're using the controller disconnect controller and the usb dongle uh, if it is connected disconnect it and then check the sound next step is to turn off spatial sound again for this type in control panel and then open control panel so hardware and sound then click on sound now select your speaker and then click on properties go to the spatial sound tab and then turn it off and then click on apply, click on OK and then check the sound. Next step is to disable Oculus or voice meter audio device under both recording and playback in sound control panel. So, so again op open control panel, go to sound over here. And now over here under playback tab, if you have Oculus or voice meter, any virtual speaker over here, make a right click and then disable it. So if you have any other uh, audio device over here which you are not using you can disable it from playback tab and from recording tab as well so if you have any other audio device which you are not using like Oculus, voice meter or any other audio device make a right click and disable it so once you disable it hit apply and then click on ok and now check the sound next and do the same thing in device manager so make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager now expand sound video and game controller expand it now select your headphone or your speaker so select the right audio device over here actually you have to disable oculus or voice meter in device manager i'm sorry about that so if you uh, find any other audio device over here which you are not using you can simply make a right click and then click on disable device so if you find oculus or voice meter or any other audio device which you are not using, you can make a right click and disable it and then make sure you have the that speaker which you are using, the headphone or speaker which you are using, that is not disabled, that is enabled. So make sure the right audio device is enabled and the audio device which you are not using are disabled and then you can check the sound.
Next step is to uncheck hands-free telephony. Now for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Open run box. So type in run in Windows search box and then open run box and then paste the command over here and then click on OK. This will open the screen. Now over here you will find your speaker or headphone. So this is for example, so in my case this is the headphone or speaker or your audio device which if you find it, make a right click and then click on properties. Now go to the services tab. And uncheck the box which says hands free telephony. So if this is checked, uncheck this box and then click on apply, click on OK. And now check check the sound. Next step is to run audio troubleshooter. Now for this, open Windows 11 settings. Now go to system and then click on troubleshoot over here. Now click on other troubleshooters. And over here you will find audio. So click on run. Now once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then check the sound. Next step is to roll back audio drivers. To roll back audio drivers, make a right click on the start menu and then open device manager. Now expand sound, video and game controller. Now select your audio device. So select your headphone or audio device, the right audio device and then roll back the driver. So make a right click and then this is just an example. You select your audio device over here and then select properties and then go to the driver tab. Now over here, if roll back driver is highlighted, in my case, this is grayed out. If this is highlighted, you can click on roll back driver and then roll back the driver. So if this is grayed out like this, you can skip this step. Now the next step is to reinstall audio driver from device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. And then expand sound, video and game controllers. Again, select your headphone or uh, your audio device, the right, right audio device and then select properties. Go to driver tab and then click on update driver. Click on update driver. Now click on search automatically for drivers. And if there is any update, let the update complete. If that does not work, you can click on search for updated drivers on Windows update. Click on it. This will open Windows settings. Now, if there is any update over here, let the update complete. Restart your computer and then check the sound. Now, still you are facing the problem. Then make a right click on the audio device once again. Click on update driver and then click on browse my computer for drivers. Then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Now, over here. This is just an example. There might be some other audio device in, in your case. So now for, for me, it's Realtek right now. So if Realtek audio is selected, in that case, you can, you can select high definition audio device and then click on next and install it, restart your computer and then check this out. But if you see high definition audio device over here, in that case, you can select Realtek and then click on next, install it, restart your computer and then check this out. Next step is to Check for disable device, enable it and make it default. Now for this, open control panel and then go to hardware and sound, sound and select your headphone or the right audio device. And then if set default is highlighted, you can click on set default. So make your headphone or speaker as default and then Check the sound. Next step is to restart Windows audio service. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows audio service. So over here you can see Windows audio. Make a double click over here. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now with Windows update, Windows audio selected over here, make a right click, click on restart or you can select this and then click on restart the service. Once the restart is done, now check the sound. Next step is to perform clean boot. For this, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here first 
and then click on disable all. So make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all, then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart a computer and then check the sound. Next step is to uninstall the audio driver and restart a computer. So to uninstall the audio driver, make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Expand sound video and game controllers and select your headphone or audio device, the right one and then make a right click, then click on uninstall device. Now click on uninstall. Now after you uninstall, restart your computer. Now during the system restart, your the Windows will install the default drivers for the audio and then you can check the sound. But still you're facing the problem, then install the audio driver from system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number. So make sure that you select your model number. This is just an example I'm showing from Dell website. So make sure that you go to your to your system manufacturer website, select your model number. Now, once you select your model number, you can go to drivers and download page and find your audio driver. So find your audio driver, download it, install it, restart the computer and then check the sound. Next step is to update Windows 11. Make sure that your Windows is up to date. So go to settings, go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart a computer and then now check the sound. Next step is to perform system restore. To perform system restore, type in system restore in Windows search box and then click on create a restore point. Now click on system restore. Now click on next. Now over here you will see different date and time. So in my case I have only one restore point. You might see multiple restore point over here. So you have to select the date and time on which date the audio was working fine. So suppose you started facing the problem today then you can select the date and time for yesterday or maybe day before yesterday. So select the date and time on which date the audio was working fine. Select it then click on next and then click on finish. It will take some time. It will perform system restore and then you can check the sound. Next step is to reset your computer. So if nothing works you can reset your computer. Now before you perform reset make sure that you back up your data before reset as reset will result in data loss. So make sure that you create a backup because reset will result in data loss. Now to reset your computer, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now click on windows update and then click on advanced option. Now click on recovery. Now over here you can see reset this PC, click on reset this PC. Now over here keep my files will remove application and settings, but it will keep your personal files. Remove everything will remove all your personal files, application and settings. So select the option which you want and then click on next and then select local reinstall and then click on next. And after this will reinstall windows. So click on next and once the reset is done, set up your computer once again. I'm not doing it. So reset your computer once the reset is done. Set up your computer once again and then check the sound. The last step is to run a hardware test for audio. So you can run a hardware test for audio and if there is any kind of issue with the hardware or speaker, uh, you can uh, replace the headphone or the audio device. So or you can contact your system manufacturer or the uh, headphone audio device manufacturer. You can contact them and you can get it replaced. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the sound working on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.